F in a bit supplement review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna do a little first impressions review of F Fenibit. Now, I don't know if you guys have been following my channel, but the original Fenibit is one of my favorite go-tos for nootropic slash anti-anxiety. Um, it's something that I've used several times, probably 25 to 30 times. I personally, only get effects from it when I have anxiety. So I can't really take it for recreation or just take it just to take it. But at the same time, every single time that I have taken it, it has completely helped me. Not one time has it ever let me down. Again, this is me personally, maybe you're not gonna have this experience. Maybe you're gonna have a bad experience. I don't know. But Fenibit just really, really, really works for me. And it's literally my go-to for anti-anxiety. I couldn't really think of another supplement or nootropic that I would prefer over Fenibit. The only other thing that can really pull me out of a really bad day is Kratom, and um, it's still not as anti-anxiety as something like Fenibit, but they both help. That's kind of like my background with Fenibit, and I didn't really need to try this version, but out of curiosity, it's like, you know, let's try it out. Fenibit works so good. So I don't know if you guys have also been following my channel, but I've been doing these reviews on these modafinil analogs, one of them like chloromodafinil, the other one fluoromodafinil. And I've been doing a lot of research and there is a lot of pharmaceuticals that have these fluoros and these chloros. I think they said like 80% of American pharmaceuticals contain some sort of a chlorine or chlorinated something. So it's very, very commonly used. However, uh, when I looked up the fluoro and the chloro, I think they're like the number one and number two most toxic things, most toxic things on the periodic table. Although they probably increase the effectiveness of the drug or maybe make it last a little bit longer, when you have something like Finibit that works with, you don't need anything else, at least in my opinion, I don't really need to add a fluoro or a chloro to it, especially if it's toxic. I know that they do it in American pharmaceuticals. I don't know why that is, but I just would prefer not to do it. So I kind of figured that out after I got this. So I was hoping that I would get only positives and not negatives with this. I was pretty much blown away by how close Finibit is to so many other things. You know, when I think of Fenibit, I think of, oh, it's just a drug in Russia, which it is, you know, it's a prescription drug in Russia. But I don't know if you guys, you probably, almost everybody's heard of GABA. GABA is just something that makes you feel relaxed, content, makes you feel just overall good. I think that's the number one thing that kind of like Xanax targets, although it's like GABA one, there's like GABA one and GABA two, but um, Xanax targets GABA. So GABA just makes you feel relaxed, makes you feel like everything's good. Fenibit is just basically, it's like the Fenibit, it's basically GABA with one phenyl group to it. So it's essentially like the molecule of GABA with just something on it that makes it more potent. So I'm like, wow, I had no idea it was exactly the same and pretty much as GABA with just one thing added. And then I found out that although yeah, I just went over that Fenibit is a drug in Russia, but there's something called Tolibut or Tolibut. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that is essentially Fenibit with just one methyl group. So it's like that's very close to being a pharmaceutical here since it's just one methyl group added, which is just gonna make it a little more potent. And then if you have Fenibit with an added chloro, you actually get uh, something called Bactolofen or Bacolofen, something like that. And Bacolofen is like a, supposed to be like a muscle relaxer, but it's essentially Fenibit with just one chloro group. This is Fenibit with just one fluoro group. So it's very, very, I would think gotta be in the ballpark or at least very similar, you know what I mean? So I found that kind of interesting. Like Fenibit is directly related to GABA. Um, if you add a methyl to Fenibit, it becomes Tolibut. And if you add a chloro to Fenibit, it becomes something else as well. So I just kind of want to throw that out there. I was kind of blown away that Fenibit was so close to uh, not only GABA, but two other pharmaceuticals. So let's jump into my experiences with the fluoro Fenibit. So the very first time I took it, I kind of just, I wasn't really planning on taking it. I just basically did a, tr a trial. I don't really remember too much about it. The second time I took it, I was actually feeling some pretty bad anxiety. I was getting like one punch after another and I just needed a week off, a week or two off from the blows, you know what I mean? I had another one come and I was just freaking out, you know, it's probably one of those times I should have taken Fenibit. So about halfway through the day, I decided to try out the floral Fenibit and I really didn't know the dosage. Um, the dosage for Fenibit is about 250 to 500 milligrams. The floral Fenibit is gonna be a lot stronger, but I didn't know how much stronger, so I did about two slightly rounded scoops and each scoop was about 30 milligrams. So it should have been probably, I would guess about 70 milligrams. And right after I did that, I looked what um, Bacolofen is because Bacolofen is essentially Fenibit with a chloro. This is a fluoro. So I'm like, it's gotta be kind of close to this Bacolofen, right? So I looked it up and Bacolofen is in like 15 or 20 milligrams. And I'm like, oh my God, I took like 70. 
I think the fluoro fin a bit is a little bit weaker than the baclofen, but still, I wouldn't want to be too much higher than what the baclofen is because I have tried fluoro and chloromodafinil and they're very similar to me personally, you know what I mean? I took the 60 milligrams, uh, I started to feel like definitely better, things were kind of going in the back of my head. Um, normal fin a bit takes about, I think like four hours to peak. So I took this near the end of the day. I was watching a movie. I got about 10 minutes left and I was like, I am out. I am so tired. I'm just done, which is really good. Uh, a lot of times I won't you know, decide to go to sleep early even though it'll benefit me. I was super anxious. I felt great, went to sleep, had a great sleep. I woke up and I had probably this really noticeable anti-anxiety feeling for maybe, five or six hours after I woke up, I woke up in such a good, calm, centered headspace. So I didn't really have any headaches or anything like that. I didn't really have any noticeable side effects with the floral fenibit. I would say that it seemed a little bit more sedating versus fenibit. And I kind of will have to dance back and forth when I have anxiety. I'll try fenibit, I'll try the F fenibit, see if I can kind of fine tune what I like and dislike about each ones. But yeah, I was very, very blown away. It absolutely pretty much did everything fenibit did. It almost felt a little bit stronger in some aspects and a little bit more of a sedative. So then the third time that I took it was actually Actually yesterday I was kind of feeling a little weird kind of want to just have a relaxing end of my day I ended up putting 30 milligrams in like a big jug of water and I went to work I hadn't even finished the jug of water and I was just already super tired wanted to go to sleep so I will have to fine-tune the dosage and again I don't know the dosage so be very very careful here I would say try to start with about 30 just to be safe because 30 totally had me going to sleep I had some anti-anxiety effects for sure very strong very noticeable I think if I'm having really bad anxiety my go-to will probably about be about 60 because I just had a great experience on it it kind of put me to sleep but not like it, I could have stayed up if I needed to but I mean I was just out and that's kind of what I wanted to so I think 60 milligrams is the perfect kind of you know middle ground for me on this one but anyways guys that's been my initial first review first impressions of f in a bit i'm oh, so far I'm, I'm actually really really liking it I like that it's a little bit more of a sedative and I'll be interested to see in the future fine tuning of if I like fin a bit more, if I like F fin a bit more, or do I want them for specific uses? Um, I know some people say that they get really, really awake on Finibit, which is crazy. Apparently it happened to my friend. And uh, I know Finibit is supposed to boost a little bit of dopamine, but it's more of an anti-anxiety effect. So it's like you get a slight bit of dopamine boost, but more anti-anxiety. This one, it's not that it felt bad, but I just didn't really feel as much of a dopamine boost in the F Finibit. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Finibit. Let me know what you think of F Finibit. Some interesting stuff here. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.